Hi, my name is JL Ray, and welcome to my corner of the interwebs. And today, I am going to attempt to outline, which, like all other areas of the writing process, I am no good at. So, my whole life I've been a pantser, until NaNoWriMo where I learned that having an outline may be a good thing. I'm not planning to just completely become a planner, but I am attempting to try my hand at it, at least. Because earlier this week I had an idea, even though I am in the middle of the editing process right now for my current work in progress. <sighs> I'm honestly getting pretty sick of that story because it's all like the only story thing I've been thinking about since like August. So I kind of just want something new and different in a different little world I can be in. So I decided that tomorrow I'm going to do a 20 hour write a thon. Not 24 because I need to sleep. <laughs> but. Yeah, and I'm going to be fast drafting as much of it as I can, just trying to like get it out of my head and so hopefully I can focus on editing better. Because I don't like editing very much and I found that it takes a lot of energy. And because tomorrow is the virtual author tube writing retreat, I figured it would be a good time to just try to do a bunch of drafting. Because if I tried to do a bunch of editing, I'd get worn out after like a couple hours. So, also I really miss drafting. Drafting is the fun part. Like, I kept saying to myself, like, editing is going to be the fun part. And then I was like, actually, no, it's not. So I'm going to try the save the cat method today. Um, I've already tried doing the three block structure one earlier. Um, and I actually, I outlined it, but I kind of didn't write the story. So I don't really know how well that turned out. But I've heard a lot about save the cat, but I don't know any of the process or, like, what you do. So we're going to figure that out. And hopefully this works for the story that I want to write. And I think that's that. Okay, so, well, let's go get started and see where that goes. Okay, I actually found a new place for my camera, so that's nice. Anyway, so it is the Save the Cat method is divided into three acts. So just very quick basics. And this is interesting because it divides it based on word count, which is definitely not something I normally do. So it's really interesting to me how much it relies on like math and numbers, which isn't really something that you think goes with writing. I do kind of like it though, cause it's kind of, it's really concrete, except I just don't feel like stories are concrete. I mean like they are, but it's, hmm. Like, to me, it feels like creativity isn't concrete, but I'm going to try it. And yeah, so it says it's basically made up of 56 scenes and three acts. 56 is a lot. I don't normally count scenes, actually. So that's interesting. I, I don't actually do chapters very much either, which is a huge problem. But I think this is going to help me with that because a lot of my other work, it felt super unstructured. And so I know I was saying before, like, creativity isn't concrete and whatever, but structure is nice, which is the purpose of an outline. Okay, anyway, so basically, we have 15 points. Oh, no, those are beats. 15 beats, each of which has a certain amount of scenes that go into it. Okay, this is making sense. I need to just talk, apparently. And... There's this nice little sheet that it comes with that you can't see because my computer's down there, but that kind of shows the amount of scenes per beat. I really appreciate that, honestly. I like that a lot. I just don't know if I'm going to have enough ideas for all of the scenes. Because, <laughs> like, okay, so I have... I always get the idea for, like, the beginning, and then I know there is going to be a climax and, and the end. But um, the whole thing about the middle, I know this is a very common thing, but it just eludes me because it feels like it should be the most boring part, but it's not. And I'm 
just feel like sometimes I just run out of ideas, but I know there are things that I need to put in to get from A to Z, but I just don't either know what those things are or how to write them. Because that was also a problem I had with the three block structure, or three act, the other one, um, was like, I, they were saying, okay, now do this part. And I was like, but I don't, I don't know what that would be. <laughs> but again, that's probably just me. I need to be patient. I'm not a patient person, which you can probably tell by the way that I'm talking, which is in circles and like a crazy person. I also did something new with my character development that I don't usually do, but I was watching um, Abby Emmons trying, cause she does some really great like tutorial type stuff. So I was watching her video on character profiles from like 2018 and she was talking about how she used the Myers-Briggs personality type. And I was like, that's such a great idea. So I went through, I took the test for each five of my characters. And so I have their personality type, which I have two INFJs, but they're very different characters. So I wonder, and that's my personality type. So I wonder if like when I was going through it, the ones that I didn't know, I just reflexively answered for myself or something. Cause one is like a deep, dark brooding type of character. The other one is just kind of a very like nervous, fluttery type of character, I guess. I mean, maybe they have the same personality type, but to me, they seem like very different people. So categorizing them under the same personality type seems a bit scary to me. So let's get to outlining. First, we have act one, the beginning. So it says the opening image, which is the before snapshot of the protagonist and the world. And then uh, theme stated. Okay, so this is like foreshadowing the theme. That's that's actually a good idea. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I've never done that. And then set up, catalyst, debate. A multi-scene beat where the protagonist debates what he or she will do next. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like that whole inner conflict kind of thing that's building, which I need to also figure out because I'm good with external conflict and internal conflict as like a second plot or a B plot. I don't remember what that's called. My brain is dead. I, I have a really hard time intertwining them or like making the external plot affect the internal conflict or the other way around, really. So that's something that I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn to do that. And then break into two, a single scene beat in which the protagonist decides to accept or call it and eventually leave the comfort zone. Okay, so that's, so it's basically the exposition. Yeah, exposition, I think that's right. It's been a while since I've learned that. So proud of myself. So like the exposition to whatever like the deciding moment is. And then they're like, okay, yeah, we're gonna do this. This is gonna be great, we're gonna do it. And I wonder if this is gonna be any different because I'm writing from five different point of views, technically. I don't know, because there isn't really one specific protagonist. There's five of them. So yeah, but that's kind of my own problem. <laughs> That's my fault. I can't really commit to one point of view and for the sake of the story and for my own lack of writing skills. That's what we're gonna go with. So I am going to do that now. I'm going to try to outline act one. Yeah, let's see how that goes. <laughs> And um, as you can probably tell, it is the next day, but I just wanted to uh, come back and talk about my final thoughts about the Save the Cat outline. So I went through and I did all of it with a surprising lack of problems. So that's good. <laughs> and I know at the beginning I was really concerned about it, like not fitting for the story that I wanted. But actually it worked really well and I'm really happy with it because it's like enough structure and planning where I know like what's going to happen but enough but it's loose enough where I still have the freedom to kind of write what I want to write. 
given I didn't really outline the specific scenes because I got tired and I kind of got bored, but I have all of the beats outlined and everything so I know the basics of what's going to happen in each beat. So that is actually going to be very helpful. And yeah, it actually worked really well for me and I'm very happy with it. Actually, I think I like this one better than the other one, the block structure one. Outlining is still not my favorite thing to do, but I think it'll be worth it because I'm starting to write this story now and so far it's going pretty smoothly, especially it's really nice having the character arcs outlined. I don't, I don't know why I've never done that. And also having the theme, it just makes the plot so much easier because you know like the big central idea. I'm normally, I wasn't a theme person because like you know always in school they tell you like find the theme of this, analyze the theme of that, and I was just, I don't care. So that is my whole review wrap up thing about the Save the Cat outline and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye!